Ahum, and thank you for joining me today. Um, I, for the first time in many months, I've opened up my book. You all, you guys all know uh, my book. It is If I Knew Then What I Know Now. Um, and I decided not to open it until uh, right about now because I wanted to get information of where I was at. I, I, am, I added Reiki to the book so that wherever it is you opened, you get a message that you needed to hear today. And everybody goes through different changes in their lives. I'm going through a big change in my life. The whole family is going through a big change. So it's a good thing because we have accepted the goodness, the high vibrations of these changes, of these shifts. And where it's going to lead us to, right? Because that's all what we're here to do most of the time. I want you, if you open up to page 48, and if you guys have bought the book, it's 1995. It is a 248-page book, very easy to read, and it's got places where it works like a work uh, a workbook that you can actually write. It's got space for you guys to write and, and take your notes. Um, now, where I opened up was page 48, and it says, you need to give yourself permission only to see the truth and to open yourself up to endless spiritual divine possibilities. You need that, guys. If you are in a constant low, and I see you, um, the messages I post, you don't believe. the, And it isn't you believe in me. It's you don't believe that these beautiful things can happen to you. You second guess yourselves so many times, yet the message is right there. Okay? There is goodness in you, around you, and for you. You have to open yourself up. If you don't, it's not going to get to you. you. You need to realize that. So you need to be present in that energy in order for you to get to where you need to get to. All right? Now, when you surrender to all divine to higher frequencies, to limited possibilities, limitless possibilities, you become an open book. Here's your book. You wrote that book, but you have it closed. Why do you have it closed? If you don't have it closed, I mean, if you have it closed, What's really happening? Are you moving forward as you're supposed to? No, open it up. Open this book that you wrote on in this lifetime. All right? Let the sunshine hit it. Let the moons glow on it. Allow for your book to be totally open in total surrender because what's in there is good you would not have gotten that stamp of approval and that got you here in the first place if you hadn't written a good book just it doesn't make sense okay so that frequency and i know i see you you don't believe the good Things are going to happen. So guess what? You are doing such a wonderful job blocking those good energies. Your acceptance that something good is going to happen, that nothing good happened. Why would it? Why would your guides, why would the universe, why would your angels expect anything else from you? and give you anything else for you. This is not where you want to see or have your angels and guides be at, but this is what you're showing them. So one of the biggest things for you to do is 
and I'm challenging you. 30 days of opening yourself up. I'm not kidding. 30 days of opening yourself up and doing things that make you happy. And you will see a difference. I am telling you, 30-day challenge for you to find your happiness. It's going to improve. Then you add another 30 days. And then another 30 days, all of a sudden, you forgot the past and all the things that were bringing you down. I guarantee it because it worked for me. I was so good at being negative that I didn't know how to get out. I thought that was my life. It's not. As sure as heck is not. And then I changed that. And I'm happy I did. My family's happy I did. I think the universe is happy I did. Now, while going through your awakening, oh wait, um, there is no resistance. Okay, so when you surrender to all the divine, to higher frequencies, to limitless possibilities, you become an open book. There is no resistance. You're not closing your book so that light doesn't come in. You're not closing it. You're opening it so all these good frequencies come in, right? So there is no resistance. Therefore, there is no reason for flow to halt. What are we talking about here, guys? We're talking about energy flow. It's all energy flow. Don't close yourself up like that book. Let energy flow through you. You will get all your answers because I did. I did. While going through your awakening, all kinds of emotions, past, present, and future come to you. Oh boy, do they. But it's how you process them and how, what energy you're giving them. What frequencies are you processing these emotions that you're going through? That's important. And here is where you say to yourself, maybe I do need a psychotherapist. A lot of us, a lot of us do. Everybody should have a visit or few visits. We had a psychotherapist. We have several in the group. Please, when you guys get a chance, identify yourselves so that our group knows that you are available. At once, there is no direct place in the timeline. It just comes to you all at once. You need to be prepared for this to happen and be happy that it does. You have to be happy that it does. You know why you need to be happy that it does? Because that means you are ready for a change, guys. You are ready to move on to the next piece of your puzzle, the next chapter in your life. When you see change coming, be happy. Embrace it. Bring it in. Tackle it. Okay? Always remember that when you see things falling apart in front of you, who the heck doesn't have that happening right now? It is because truly it was not going to end well. It was going to be worse if you let it continue. So things are falling apart and you're like, oh my God, this is the worst thing that can happen to you. No, not at all. It's falling apart because right now this is not what you need. And if you would have let that continue, it would have been worse. Think about it, okay? Trust that it is falling apart so that a fix can fit in your equation. We're talking about energy, guys. This is what we are. The possibility that something better will be put in its place is exactly what is happening. Oh, but wait. Ego. We don't want change to happen, do we? And I'm closing my book because I don't want change. This is not the way. This is definitely not the way. I learned this the hard way, and I'm telling you that is not the way. Okay? Therefore, since you wrote this story, you also booby trapped certain places in your story so that you could do a reset of... 
Well, yes, exactly. Remember how you wrote the book? You booby trapped the book because you're like, you know what? You know or you knew already what ego and what resistance you were going to go through in this body. So you're like, you know what? I think right about now that body's going to, mm, let me go. I'm going to booby trap this part right here mm. because I know in this part of my life, uh, yeah, I'm going to just dismantle everything and do a full reset so that we can start all over in a better frequency. Yes. Yes. That is what happens. Yes. I'm telling you, it is. It is. This is where we do a self-check. This is where we go to a psychotherapist. This is where we go to a doctor. This is where we say, okay, I need to make sure that scientifically and emotionally, I'm okay. I want to see where spiritually we're going. Because then you put it all together in your book. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, we place a time and space where we begin our awakening. We're the ones that decide where we're going to awaken. We're the ones. So we also place time checks, balances, and more so that our compass can always guide us back to where we need to be. So here's our path. And all of a sudden I'm saying, okay, let me do it this way. Here's our path. And all of a sudden I'm at a point where I'm like, ah, I'm going to just branch out over here. And here's my booby trap. Oh no, I'm lost. Where am I going? What am I doing? Help! This is where you come right back down. Oh my God, everything is going backwards. Oh my God, I'm having a fit. What is, God, what is happening? Oh, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, here I am. Oh yeah, baby. And you continue. Why does that happen? Because that's how we wrote it. And you have to surrender to the fact that you wrote all this that you're going through right now. You wrote this moment where you're getting this message so that you understand this fact so that then you can continue moving forward. It's right here. It's evident. It's fact. It is now not only a spiritual fact, but now it has been incarnated in time and space in this dimension to happen now. Because now is when you needed to get the confirmation of what you've been wondering all this time. Yeah, this is it. Okay? Now, when this happens, if things go as planned and you don't continue to resist, oh, damn, 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 why did I do this? Why did I do this? You know that. You know, this is why I get myself in such trouble. I'm just going to stop resisting and I'm going to go where I need to go, right? So we stop the resistance. When this happens, if things go as planned and you don't continue to resist, it will happen exactly in the best of opportune times and with the best outcome for you. Get it? This is where you understand today you need to stop resisting the beautiful story you wrote. Yes, it is beautiful. Don't say no. I see you going, no, 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 no. Yes, it is beautiful. It was designed by you and your creator. And what a beautiful story it was. You need to understand that it is and stop resisting. Resistance is here, not on the spiritual side. Okay, now that you are following this, this path, this path, you are going to feel the push and pull from spirit and things will happen, will begin to move out of the way and start going all different directions except towards you or so you feel. You stopped resisting. Now things get out of their way. And you're seeing, oh my God, I just lost that friend. Oh my God, my family. Oh, what the, oh, that one's not, oh God. Okay, so I'm changing jobs and wait. Oh, 
this is too much. This is all because you have stopped resisting. So things that you had in the way to help you continue to resist are now going to start moving away. That includes friends, that includes family, that includes situations, but they're only going for a while while you are now vibrating at a higher speed, higher frequencies, because they can't vibrate with you at the same speed. You are now moving forward and they're still a little behind, okay? Now, but you feel, oh my God, why did I do this? Oh no. The part of this is to surrender and to trust. So you keep going. You keep going. The universe is making space for new, bright, and delicious energy so that you can see for yourself that you can live from within your soul. Oh my God. So you have just stopped resisting. You have opened up your book. Now the universe is saying, okay, well, here's Mary. She is learning. And now let's get rid of all the toxicity, the people that she doesn't even know that is not supposed to be around her because it's just bringing down her energy. Let's move that. Let's get her a new job. Let's get her out there. Let's move. And still Mary is not resisting. Mary's saying, okay, <clears throat> uh, I'm ready and I'm still waiting. Okay. So now what happens is you have to rely on living from your soul. What does that mean when you live from your soul? Well, the soul is the only place that you have that is in truth and integrity. Well, you stop the resistance. That means you stop the, the lies. You stopped uh, the envy. You stopped living in shame. You stopped living guarded. You are now living in your truth. You are now living with integrity because you already know that by surrendering and by living how you need to be, how you wrote in your book while you were in heaven, you are now in integrity. Therefore, you are now living in your soul, from your soul. You have nothing left to move you to any other direction. Your booby trap worked. Your soul works on truth and integrity. This form of living will result in happiness with exactly what you need to get there. Nothing more, nothing less. What do you end up with? Enough. Enough. You end up with enough. And enough is exactly the perfect word for where it is that you need to be so that then, then abundance can come and say, you have been living with enough and you're doing so well. Now, let's give you abundance. But abundance in what? Life, love, happiness joy, healing, oh my gosh, then comes the material part because the spiritual side is going to start attracting with the law of attraction, oh yes, let's give, let's yes, let's give, there's no resistance, therefore the law of attraction is not fighting any longer to bring you good things, that is the message for today. You get these messages with this book, all right? If I knew then what I know now. This is what I learned. This is one of the little things that I learned to move my life forward, to keep moving forward. And it was the best thing in my life, next to my children and my husband, is to stop resisting what I wrote because not only did I write a good book for me and my family, but I wrote a pretty darn good book about 
my book for everyone in here, for all of you. I hope that you have purchased this book. If there's anything that I can tell you to purchase is a good book. This is a good book. This is a book of exactly what happened with me. I was considered the reluctant psychic. Um, in not, not only in my life, but in the universe, I was known as the reluctant psychic. When is she going to wake up? And I can't tell you enough. There are new, a million beautiful books out there. Um, but if you're interested to know how I went through it, how I, what I learned, it's all in there. So if there's a book that you want to buy at this point or in the future, um, this is a really good book. Yeah, I'm tooting my own horn because I know it's a good book because it came from a good book. So I wanted to share that message with you all today because moving into the weekend, um, you've got a lot of thoughts, a lot of thinking to do based on what I shared from my book. And for a lot of you, this is a message you were waiting to hear. I bid you a home. I say goodbye. And I wish you a life full of no longer being resistant to love, light, and beauty, and warmth to you, to yours, to your furries, and to the entire universe. Enjoy. <laughs>